we know we need to do a better job recycling. We also know that some plastics are just a lot harder to recycle than others. And when you hear about the millions and billions of pounds that end up in landfills because they don't have a home for it, you start to realize how big of a problem this really is. Rarig Pacific is helping to bring lost plastics back into the circular economy. The items they make are the kind of high quality, high usage plastics that function for years. A good place for homeless plastics to go. Here's the big idea. If Rarig Pacific were able to source the kinds of materials that are really hard to recycle for their products, that would be huge. So that's what they're doing. For any new product that we develop, we're proactively confirming the application and the design requirements prior to selecting the material blend that would be used in the finished product to effectively meet the customer's sustainability needs. It all starts with guys like Trent Williams, a materials engineer at Rarig Pacific's best-in-class research and development lab in Kansas City. You have an available stream, uh, and they said this is what the product was. Could be an old toy, a piece of outdoor furniture, something plucked out of an ocean. They'll bring it to me. I'll put it underneath some equipment that's gonna fingerprint. I can say, okay, that can be used into this product. The materials engineering team figures out the properties of the plastic stream and finds an ideal home for its recyclate. Let's pick up bulky, rigid plastic commonly found curbside. Polypropylene car seats. Those have been kind of a problematic thing for recyclers. They are a multitude of polymers, and what we'll do is help identify of that what is going to be useful for Rarig. They take the DNA of the item. And I can say, yes, that's the type of polypropylene that we are looking for. That's exactly what we use for a lot of our rackable polypropylene pallets. So it, they're almost identical as far as processing and durability and stiffness. This stream of car seats can be diverted from landfills to rarig pallets. But the materials engineers did not stop there. One of the recycling streams that's really exciting to me right now and has a great story to tell is the utilization of shrink wrap in future products. Film is difficult to recycle, and there's billions and billions of pounds of this stuff that ends up in our landfills every day. There's agricultural film, there's industrial films, there's consumer films. Innovative processing has allowed Rarick to begin incorporating film into many different products. We've been partnering with a couple of retailers that generate millions and millions and millions of pounds of that inside their own supply chain to manufacture product out of that film. We've successfully trialed the utilization of shrink wrap in production of recycling bins. We're able to make a really kind of gorgeous trash bin in color with that film. Rarick Pacific is now helping their customers turn their own discarded film into, of all things, recycling bins. Utilizing that recycling bin to effectively close the loop and recycle that product. Rarig is approaching the recycling ecosystem with amazing creativity, innovation, and partnership. Their programs focus on ocean waste, on beverage and food systems, automotive materials, and they're all finding new life in Rarig's returnable beverage, dairy, and agriculture crates, their pails and pallets. With every program they develop, Rarig Pacific is making a measurable, scalable difference.